Kermel Moulton, ladies and gentlemen, made his pro debut and it was an emphatic statement. He put on a virtuoso in his first round against Ezekiel Flores. He put him down. The referees had to come in. We, I knew it wasn't exactly how I expected it to go. This kid is already showing you the future. Everybody was in attendance. You know, Floyd was there. Um, obviously, Floyd has been heavily involved in what's going on with Carmel. Carmel is already on the record of wanting to fight some of the best fighters at 127. Um, and the list goes on. Um, he's 5'2". He's right-handed, but he got power coming from left, just everywhere. And you've seen it firsthand. He was hitting Ezekiel with a barrage of shots. Yeah, I mean, Ezekiel Flores looked like he was lost. Um, and it's, it's good that they, the referees had to do their job because it was just going to be a manhandle situation. He's 1-0 and o already. Uh, first, first win, by the way, a knockout. So uh, clearly... This is the first of many. The show starts now. You can see the excitement on his face. And you can see, like, man, this is the start of something special. He's going to have a great career. We all know it. I think that everybody that has been following the sport of boxing, everybody that knows what's going on in the sport of boxing, um, can all attest to say that this kid is definitely is going to be hard-pressed to argue, is he, gonna, is he not going to be the future of the sport? Um, that's how good he is. You know, but he definitely got that first round stoppage. Um, and he was on that um, card, you know, uh, with the with the Canelo and obviously Charlo fight. And the fight happened after, you know. So a lot of people was wondering when, when this fight was going to take place. I'm just happy that they did, you know. Um, but he made quick work of him, you know. Flo like I repeat, Floyd was ringside. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports for more news, updates, and more. We all know the height, but um, he's he's the 17 year old featherweight prospect. He completely overwhelmed overwhelmed Flores with his speed, precision, and power in a walkout bout that took place immediately after the Canelo Alvarez Jamelo Charlo in the 12th round main event. Moulton dropped Flores with a left hand in the middle minute of the first round, which signaled the beginning of the end. Um, we all know um, what happened after that. Flores, you know, um, he's from Cali. Uh, he got up from the knockdown. By the time the referee reached the count of five, Moulton pounced on Flores quickly, you know, unloading an array and a barrage of shots and punches, you know, and basically he had no, he, he really couldn't do much about it. The referee had to, had to, had to come in here and do a job. He, you seen the way off. You know, the official time of the stoppage was a minute and 48 seconds of the first round. Uh, Moulton from Vegas, um, he went 156 and 7 as an amateur received a special permission from the Nevada State Athletic Commission to complete professionally prior to his 18th birthday. The legendary Mayweather has mentored Moulton since he was a young child, I repeat. So, um, y'all gotta let me know who y'all think he was next for him. They tried to catapult him immediately up to a title fight. I'm gonna keep it real, but we all know a lot of politics in the game got in the middle of that. And they basically slowed all of that down. Moulton couldn't come in fighting for a championship right away. Um, a salute to everybody that streamed this fight that was able to catch it. You know, um, everybody's been hitting me up. When the fight going to take place? What happened? What's going on? Uh, did it happen already? You know, um, it was definitely going to happen. A lot of people thought that after the Canelo fight, I'm telling people the fight is going to happen after. That everybody telling me, no, nah, no way. No, no, this the no way. You know, it, it happened. Uh, the future of boxing. He technically was the last fight of the evening. Um, and shout out to Floyd because Floyd said... Um, basically in the post fight when he was all around, you know, his protege, he said, is either two things is either he comes in the ring, he's stealing, they shine away. And if he don't show up, then he's hating on them. So, um, so clearly he's letting, you know, the politics, you know, in the sport of boxing, 
you know, the Floyd show up, he's taking all his shine, you know. I, don't, I, I mean, this is crazy. Boxing is such an individual sport, it just get too individual. You know, to where, you know, you can't have somebody in the ring, which is just everything is just you, you know, and it's, it's crazy, you know, but y'all got to let me know, did he prove anything um, in this first bout? Um, he fought a guy who was definitely undefeated. I mean, this guy, Ezekiel Flores, um, it wasn't like they, they picked up a, just anybody. Uh, Ezekiel Flores was 4-0 prior to this fight. Three wins, by the way, a knockout. You know, um, he got himself knocked out today. Um, it, it, it's unfortunate. Let's see what he goes from here, where he goes, because he did fight prior to the Kamel fight. He did fight. He fought in April, fought April 15th. Um, or then he also fought back in August of last year. So he's been pretty uh, active fighter. He fought in July and August of last year. So his activity is just, it was tremendous, you know, leading up to this um, fight for Carmel to make his pro debut. I think that he was definitely a worthy opponent for him. I think that Carmel um, definitely, like I said, he just got to make sure that he continue to sharpen up his skills. He's 17 years old. Everybody is well, crowning him as the next guy. Um, just, he and I, he's smart. You know, he knows the, he knows the fight game. He knows he has power, which is only going to increase as he gets older. Carmel is going to have the ability to drop people. You know, like I said, power, left hand, right hand. Um, and you lucky the referee came involved in this one because he, was in the, he wasn't going to make it. This fight wasn't going to go the distance. I think everybody knew it. Um, and I just can't wait to see some of his next fights, some of his next stages that he could definitely be on. I want to see him on big fight cards, you know, because I think that he's going to be a big ticket seller. I think he could be the next Javante. Everybody's saying the next Floyd. I think he could be uh, the up-and-coming Javante Davis, you know. At this age, 17, you know, I, I think so. You know, he could be a guy in, in, in a few years from now, people is reminding you of Javante because Floyd got a hand on him. Floyd got a hand on a lot of these young fighters. Shout out to the money team. This guy clearly is, is destined for Mayweather promotions. Uh, we all know it's one family. Um, shout out to uh, Floyd uh, for showing up for Kamel tonight. Uh, I want to congratulate him on his pro debut. You know, uh, he's 1-0. and And this is how you make a debut. A complete all-out domination. It's Flight Sports TV. Make sure you subscribe. Peace and love.